Happy day and welcome to the Susan Solis Homestead. Just wanted to show you that here inside our greenhouse we had a lot of stuff growing but now we put the cover crop on and you can see Suzanne is getting handfuls and handfuls that not only we can feed to our fish but mostly we feed to our chickens. This is just clover bed we tried and this is just cover crop in two different types. One I bought from Amazon Organic and one from Build the Soil and it just rejuvenates the soil, helps to rebalance things. We turn it back over and until we turn it over, it's a fresh supply of organic greens for our other friends of the outside. This one um, has like 12 things and it's beans and this one is the chicken's favorite is this little guy here. And then um, last year some of the buckwheat one grew in here and we grew actual buckwheat groats kasha and uh, started over and planted them again so it's fun full circle full circle and then just for contrast if you guys could see this side is the amazon one that had just a few varieties and this is the build the soil side <laughs> we recommend them highly if you really want organic polys they ain't the cheapest but they're the best but you can see the difference we tried to i mean i don't know what's going to do with the camera but how well, much let's higher go, it is. In the chicken hole. Let's go to the chicken hole. All right, and this greenhouse is not heated at all. It's just vented. The aquaponic center is vented into there. So it acts as a little heater and then the greenhouse. Back on, but later I'll save some for the fish too. We're gonna You're turn the gonna pump back on. Yeah. You can give him a bite. Throw yeah, some in there. We've been turning the pump off it during the day to preserve some water and heat. So because now it's cold out, we don't want everything circulating. Whoa, as you can see, there's humidity. It does give the opportunity of a little more peaceful environment and see the fish up close. I knew root beer would like it. They say that's peas and, we, I don't know, different types of grass. Yeah, I'm going to have to chop it up smaller for them. We'll give this one to the chickens. Passion flowers. Going to turn that pump back on. Get stuff flowing. Wow. Look at this. The red one here is still continuing to bloom. And it is really a, a rather beautiful passion flower, even before it blooms. And after they drop, they leave very beautiful little... Ah. There you go, if the camera can see contrast in the flowers. Oh wow, look at that. They're even all the way down there, dipping into the water. They're the last one left. Well, as you can see, the fish are happy to filters back on. In the winter time, you always want to reduce. We kind of keep it around 60 degrees. It's a healthy compromise to keep everything alive, but that means that the bacteria, enzymes, and little bugs that digest their food is also much slower. So they're slower and their digestion, you want to cut back. But sheesh, elephant ears, philodendron, everybody's thriving in here. And we haven't heated it, we only heat the water. As you can see, here's an update on the earth boxes we transplanted. These flowers were kind of dying outside. These carrots were like leftovers from our seeding. They reseeded themselves. And same thing, here we got some broccoli and some different things we're going to plant in the greenhouse that you just saw after we uh, turn over the cover crop. These were baby shallots that we planted from another earth box after we harvested and ate the shallots. And this is just wonderful. Look at these flowers. Toothache plant never stopped growing. We got an incredible nasturtium that's about to be. Here's some chamomile that grew. Different types, little, uh, maybe from the flowers that we pulled out of the bed also. And they're doing great. And more flowers. Our wall of tomatoes has re-begun with our favorite tomatoes in this earth box here. I don't know how they're being pollinated. I guess they're self-pollinated, but they're a tomato in. So hopefully tomorrow we'll get to our next wall of tomatoes. We're gonna just keep it half so that we could still observe and feed the fish from here. 
and please like subscribe hit that note no no hit the notification button but definitely share check out our other videos there's a lot to see and and oh yeah we forgot let's take a walk through the chicken hole we don't do very long videos right now but this is a good example there's some elderberry that's growing in here we cut it back and thought there'd be turkeys out. Now full circle, hand in hand, we walk through our homestead. <laughs> if we wanted to collect some duckweed, we, could, we have pounds of it growing still. We could feed that to the fish, which we do, and or chickens. It's Let's not a favorite. Duckweed. Oh, all right, let's go see the duckweed while we're at the duck. Same thing, we don't heat this. We just heat the pool water and we Good. circulate it in here. Putting this bubble in here, Duckweed. it's got to be 70, 80 degrees. Shut that door, and pretty lady. And snails that are moving along in there, leaving little trails. And then also there's a foreign fish in here that just showed up. And so we don't know if he rolled in on the bottom of some bird's feet or who knows how he got in here, but he's an un... Uh, he's not a koi or a catfish or a goldfish, like the rest of our fish. And right, we love? threw a bunch of cover crop down, and just from the drips from the ceiling in this mulch, uh, the clover is starting to grow. Yeah, we have no idea who that little fish is. We promise in the future we bought a uh, underwater camera, and we're going to try to check him out. And we'll show you. Let's go with the chicken hole. This will fill with chicken food. We need to yeah, we need to change this. This was off the sprinkler system, so we need to lettuce redo it so we can open the valve and water here. And then this will grow and be our lettuce crop. Check out some of our other videos and they'll show you. While this is open, we pick at it and throw it in the chicken hole when they want a fresh... And this is our chicken hole. So... Yeah, this is the when we have stuff for the chickens we don't have to go all the way around from that oh gate, my god all laziness the way through here. we only got so much time in the day you know boy these chickens are chickens it's so cold sometimes they keep going in but they'll come out for that uh, one green plant they like so much. yeah black jersey giants we find are not very uh, tolerant. Party. Yeah, they don't seem to like it. They prefer to stay inside. This lock I made with the flag so that if I'm way over there, I can tell this thing is locked. I don't have to come over here to check. High tech. High tech. Oh, and this lock, if it's smiling, it means it's locked. If it's hanging down, it's not locked. And I can see that. I can see that right from the camera. Well, we're off to take a walk and call the day and go eat some delicious nachos. <laughs> Have a fantastic day. Like, share, subscribe. See you later.